So um, this happened, and I thought, oh, this is cute. You know, I'll talk about this on my my stream. It's kind of funny. I did not realize that this would become like a, a universal laughing stock that everybody would make fun of all at once. Um, I was tagged. In like like six different YouTube commentators posted this clip of James Stefani Sterling on Ben Yahtzee Croshaw's podcast. Um, and I was tagged into all six of them, like six different people saw this tweeted out individually and they all added me and like, Josh, did you know that James Stefani Sterling was on Ben Yahtzee Croshaw's podcast and said stupid shit? And eventually I was like, yes, I do. I do. I do. I do know this actually. Now I kind of regretted it. I was like, Ooh, this is really funny. I'll save this for my podcast. And then I realized oh, I should have just fucking zeded it and got the, got the likes. Um, here is, here is the clip. So I'll just go to the video, I guess. Why is this not timestamped correctly? Okay, fuck it. <laughs> that reminds me. Um, you said Stephanie Sterling's son, and then my mind, like, as it filtered through to my brain, I heard Stephanie Sterling's son. And that's one of the things I was going to mention in the catch up at the beginning is that I am pregnant. Oh. Or rather, my body thinks it is. So I started getting car sick randomly the uh, other week, and it turns out that the hormones I'm on have made my body think it's pregnant so oh, nice. just announcing now that i have a strong sturdy son on the way i've named him borkis and because the baby will never be born it means i get to choose who the father is so watch yourselves lads because anyone who crosses me is going on the list all right then let's take it let's take it let's, let's break this down chat first of all Let's uh, take a look at how Ben top left. That's our main, the main of the hour. Let's check out how he replies. It's in Borkis, and because the baby will never be born, it means so grimacing already. He doesn't know how to maintain his face at this point. Means I get to choose who the father is. So what then, when he says that, the moment that James Stefani Sterling says that he can choose who the father is for his fictitious phantom pregnancy. Ben's face goes from like this kind of faint gr like grin like haha ha, I'm I got to maintain a facade for my podcast this is all see he he silly the moment that says the faintest little grin that he has Psh gone just gone chat and he's sitting there watch yourself lads because anyone who and when he says watch he says watch yourself he's he, it starts to turn to a little bit of a frown now the jew up there is on the top right he's he's all about it. he's about to go oh my, like oh my god i gotta tell my rabbi about this this is so funny this is the greatest thing i've ever heard he's he's hyped the brown man on the bottom left is like disgusted by this and can't even hide it but yahtzee is trying to like be friendly here and uh <laughs> <laughs> frame by frame, I'm going through it. <laughs> but at this point, uh, Yahtzee is just like, okay, this is actually not funny, and this is disgusting. Um, and then... Crosses me is coming on the list. Uh, Rabbi over there is just, Marty, Marty, oh my god, Marty can't even believe it. This is, this is comedy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write my, my nephew in netflix and say that he should make a new show about this great joke that stephanie sterling has come up with a pregnant man marty can you believe it yahtzee doesn't like it yahtzee is very much like this this is not okay and then eventually after a second of uncomfortable a pregnant pause if you will chat a pregnant pause. Yahtzee finds the courage to break the silence. All right, then. All right, then. Let us continue. And I actually did watch the video um, at that point when he says, all right, then. This is a super chat segment. So once he has, like, said, all right, then. 
he just uh goes to the next super chat and it's never brought up again um i also i i want to take a second i haven't beat this into the ground enough chat i want to i want to go back and i want to um just kind of look at this again from fresh eyes now i'm going to keep it on soy jack marty cuz i think that's funny um but i it doesn't matter what frame cuz we're not looking at the faces of the characters chat we're not looking at the action of the set we're going to look at the lighting we have four frames kind of stitched together and the top two and the bottom left share something in common warm natural light uh it is daytime the their rooms are flooded with a natural light their skin is is uh basking in sunlight and then on the bottom right there is discordance with this th theme chat no longer is there natural light there is a blue gray overcast that makes james stefani sterling look genuinely ill if i was trying to set the lighting of like a medical surgery room for some kind of horror movie that is exactly the kind of tone that i would want something that just washes everything in disgusting unnatural blue light and it just it elevates it from like he not only looks disgusting, he has like an unintentional subconscious lighting setup that makes him look like a zombie. Like he's not even a part of this world. He is somebody, he's not even human. He has managed to dehumanize himself with his own set lighting. It's really, there's an essence to it, chat. An essence, it's a little bit, if I dare say, chat, I may use this word, Kino, chat. All right, next. Feeling good today. I don't know why. I'm taking my vitamins, chat. I'm taking my vitamin D with my K2. I feel energy, chat. Um, oh, this was on... Uh, the reason why this is even worth mentioning is that uh, Yahtzee was on... Uh, they, they started their own media company called Second Wind, uh, which is like a successor to the Escapist. It's like a hostile takeover of their content, basically. Um, <clears throat> and he started up his own... His, his old stuff with like his fully ramblematic title as opposed to Zero Punctuation. Basically, they did, everybody left the escapist and rebooted their stuff with different names on the second win. It went over really, really well. Everyone um, seemed really excited for it. I was actually really surprised that his fans were willing to Red Rover over to this new thing and follow him. Uh, good for him. Great for him. And I guess his thought was, hey, we're rebooting this podcast. Um, Let's pull in old escapist names. And Jim, James, you know, he was around. The um, Jimquisition was a thing on the escapist like, what, 15 years ago? It was a long time ago. So let's pull out, you know, this guy. He's still putting out video content. And uh, let's have a nice little discussion. Uh, reminisce on old times working for the escapist and, you know, uh, new, new beginnings and stuff. And he brings out this ghoul. And it's just like, wow, you know, sometimes people really do change and not always for the best chat. I think that and people made made light of this, but it's like Yahtzee is like super progressive. And I, I don't think up until the moment that Jim threatened to pretend that he was anally impregnated by um, by him. I don't think Jim really understood that it was just a fetish and that he gets off on being gross. He does not try to act like a woman. He acts like the biggest, gro grossest fetish blob to ever exist. And up until that exact moment that he was being sexually harassed by this fat, gross goblin man, it never even occurred to him. Oh, it is, it is literally just a fetish. Literally all a fetish. And it's like, that's what that, that, that moment of him freezing is. It's that realization like, oh, it is just a fat man who gets off on being a disgusting freak. Um, that was a, that was a nice little wake up for him. We'll never admit it, but you know, you know that he knows and that's what matters, chat. Um, 
Oh, one more thing. The the whole thing about being like a phantom pregnancy. Hmm, I wonder why you're nauseous. Could it be that you intravenously inject hormones that don't belong in your body into your body every day to try and act like a woman? No, it must be a phantom pregnancy. There's no other explanation for this. Everything must conform to my worldview. Yay. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.